Hi guys, today's lesson is a review of every way that we have learned how to solve a system of equations. So we first learned how to solve them by graphing. We looked at where they crossed each other um, after we graphed both lines. We then learned about substitution. And lastly, we've spent some time doing elimination. So we're gonna review all three of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do number one with you. So remember, in order to graph something, it has to be in the form y equals mx plus b, so that we know exactly where our y-intercept is and we know exactly what our slope is. So on this first line here, I have x plus y equals three. And I need to solve this for y. So the first thing I'm gonna do is subtract x on both sides. x minus x cancels, so I'm left with y equals, then I have a three and a negative x. So I can't combine those because they're not like terms. So I'm gonna leave it y equals negative one x. Remember that's like a one in front of there, plus three. So now I can graph it. So we're gonna start at our y-intercept. We're gonna start at b, which in this problem is three. And then we're gonna move our slope, which remember is the m. It's what's in front of the x. So I have a slope of negative one, which is the same as like negative one over one. So from my blue dot, I'm gonna go down one, right one, down one, right one, and I'm gonna keep going. All right, and remember we, we do this for a while because we aren't exactly sure where our lines are gonna cross. I also need to go on the other side of this graph. So the opposite of going down one and right one would be up one and left one. So I'm gonna do that on the other side here. All right, now we'll go ahead and connect these dots. So that's one of my lines graphed. Now I'm gonna do the other one. So this one says 3x plus 2y equals 14. If I'm trying to get the y all by itself, I'm gonna have to move that positive 3x first. So I'm gonna subtract 3x to the other side. When I do that, I'll end up with 2y equals negative 3x plus 14. So I'm close to getting the y by itself. I'm just going to have to do one more thing. I need to get rid of that 2 in front of the y. So I'll divide everything by 2 because that's being multiplied. So when I do that, I end up with y equals negative 3 divided by 2. Try it in your calculator. It should give you negative 1.5. Um, if you hit math, enter, enter, you'll see it doesn't reduce. It just stays negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then plus, and then 14 divided by 2 is just 7. So this will be my second equation I'm going to graph. So we start at our y-intercept. So I'm going to start at 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I put my dot, and then I have to move my slope, which is negative 3 over 2. So that would mean to go down three and right two. So down three, right two. Down three, right two. All right, down three, right two. Down three, right two. Uh-oh, there we go. Down three, right two. So just cross. This is a very steep line. All right. So connect those dots, and you should have seen that they crossed right here. So now we just have to find out where that coordinate is. So that is, what is that? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, eight, and down, one, two, three, four, five. So I had to go right, eight, and down, five. So my solution is eight, negative, five, since I went right eight and down five. And that's your answer to the first one. So go ahead and try number two on your own. So you first have x plus two y equals six. You're gonna solve that very similar to how I solved my equations over there. So remember your first step is going to be to make this look like y equals mx plus b. So make sure you solve it to get the y by itself. Then you also have to remember how to graph x equals four. Remember, x equals any number 
is a line straight up and down. Those are my hints. All right, go ahead and try number two on your own. All right, so three, four, five, and six all want us to use substitution. So on number three, it says y equals 7x plus 6. And 4x minus 3y equals 16. So right off the get-go, I know what y equals, right? I know y equals 7x plus 6. So I can substitute that in for y into the other equation. So here's what it'll look like when I do that. I'll have 4 times x minus 3. And instead of writing y, I know what y equals. y equals this 7x plus 6. And it equals 16. So now I have this equation that has all x's in it. So I know how to solve that to figure out what x is. So that's what I'm going to do next. So go ahead and distribute the 3. And so you'll have 4 times x minus 3 times 7 is 21x. And the three, t the, sorry, I need to treat that like a negative. Negative three times seven is negative 21x. And negative three times 16 is, or sorry, negative three times six is negative 18. And then it equals 16. So now I can combine like terms. So when I combine like terms, I have a 4x and a minus 21x. So that makes negative 17x minus 18 equals 16. And then I'm going to add my 18 to the other side. So when I do that, I get negative 17x equals 34. Divide by negative 17. And you, and you should get x equals negative 2. All right, so now we need, or yeah, now we need y. We just got our x. So I'm going to go back up, and you could honestly use either equation, but I'm going to use this top one because this is literally asking, what does y equal? And I now know where this x is right here. I know that's negative 2. So I can replace x with negative 2 and solve this to figure out y. So negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Negative 14 plus 6 is negative 8. So I get negative 8. Then remember, your final, final answer needs to be written as a coordinate. So it always goes x and then y. So my x was negative 2, my y was negative 8. So your solution to number 3 is negative 2, negative 8. All right, I actually want you to skip and try number 6 on your own because this is most like the one I just did. So go ahead and try number 6 on your own. It gives you that y equals negative 5. So think about that when you begin this one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do number 4 with you. So it says x minus 7y equals negative 21. And then 2x minus 14y equals negative 42. So in this example... Neither one of these is solved for a variable, right? Like I don't have x equals or y equals. So I'm going to pick the one that would be easiest to solve for a variable. And it's going to be this first one because notice in front of x there's only a 1 there. Whereas in our other equations we have a 2 and a 14. So it, there, it would be a little bit more challenging to solve for a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this one. So I have x minus 7y equals negative 21. And I'm trying to solve this to figure out what x equals. So to get the x by itself, I'd have to add 7y to both sides. And I would get x equals 7y minus 21. So now I have what x equals. So I can go back up into my other equation and put what x equals, which was that 7y minus 21. All right, so if I go ahead and rewrite this, I'd have 2, and instead of writing x, I'm writing what x equals, which is 7y minus 21 minus 14y equals negative 42. So I'm going to solve this for y. All right, so first steps first is to distribute. 2 times 7y is 14y. 2 times negative 21 is negative 42. 
and then you still have minus 14y equals negative 42. Then we're going to combine like terms. So we have a 14y and a negative 14y. Ooh, baby. So that means that's zero y's. That cancels out. And I have negative 42 equals negative 42. If that makes a true statement, right? We have negative 42 equals negative 42. What you just found is that these two lines are the exact same. So you have an infinite number of solutions. And that would be your answer, an infinite number of solutions. You had one on the elimination day two Ed puzzle where it came down to like zero equals negative six. And remember, this was not a true statement, right? Zero doesn't equal negative six. So when the left side doesn't equal the right side, you say no solution. But on this, where they were equal, that's why it's an infinite number of solutions. So that's how you can tell the difference. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have you try number five on your own. Um, you will get a solution to this. So you, it's going to be similar to number three and number six, like you've already done. So you will get a solution. So go ahead and try number five on your own. All right, so for seven through 10, they want us to use elimination. So I'm gonna do seven with you first. So remember with elimination, you're trying to find a variable that has the same coefficient in front of it um, so that you can either add or subtract and eliminate that variable. Sometimes we have to multiply though to make it so it has the same number in front. But for this first one, we have X minus Y equals negative 10. And then we have x minus 6y equals negative 25. So notice right off the bat, you can see that our x's both have a positive one in front of them. So we can eliminate those. So you have to think, do I wanna add? Do I wanna say x plus x? No, that would make two x. I want to subtract. So I'm gonna subtract everything because x minus x makes a zero x. Then you have negative y minus negative six y. So remember this minus negative is like adding. So negative y plus six y would be five y. And then same thing here, we have negative 10 minus negative 25. Minus a negative really means to add. So this is like negative 10 plus 25, which is 15. And then we can finish solving this for y. So to get the y by itself, since that's five times y, I'm gonna divide both sides by five, and I get y equals three. So now to figure out x, it doesn't matter which one of these equations you go back to up here, but you need to pick one of them and put three in for y and solve for x. I'm just gonna pick the top one. So where y is, I'm gonna change it to a three since that's what I found out it equals. So I'd have x minus three equals negative 10. Then I'll have to solve for x. So I'll add three and I get x equals negative seven. And there we have it. So we write our solution as a coordinate. X comes first, y comes second. So negative seven comma three. All right, go ahead and try number eight on your own. So first thing you wanna look for is which variable has the same number in front of it. And that's gonna be the, the variable that you choose to eliminate to start. All right, let's try number nine together. So we have three X plus six Y equals 27 and X plus two Y equals 11. All right. So we have a three in front of our X and we technically have a one here in front of this one. And then in front of our Y, we have a six and a two. So none of them are the same. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of math here to make them the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out first which one would be easiest to eliminate and it's gonna be the one on the bottom with the X that just has that one in front of it 
because I could very easily make this one turn into a three, like the x in the equation above it, by multiplying oops, this entire thing through by three. So I'm gonna multiply everything by three. When I do that, I do three times x and I get three x, three times two y makes six y, and three times 11 is 33. And then just go ahead and keep this, the top equation the same because we didn't do anything to it. So then you have to think, how am I gonna eliminate those x's by adding them or subtracting them? Well, three plus three would give you six. So I'm gonna have to subtract everything. So three x minus three x is zero x. Six y minus six y, uh-oh, is zero y. 27 minus 33 is negative six. So this is one now where you ended up with zero equals negative six. So that would mean since this side does not equal this side, this is no solution. And we would be done. Now, the one you're gonna do like number 10, it's gonna be very similar to number seven, where um, you may choose to either eliminate your X or your Y, it doesn't matter. And then once you eliminate one of them, you're gonna solve for the one and then plug it into an equation to get the other one, whichever one you didn't solve for. So go ahead and try number 10 on your own now. All right, that concludes your video on systems of equations review. So again, this is solving a system of equations using graphing, substitution, and elimination. If you have any questions, let us know.